Hello, my name is Thomas Dimitrovich, and today's topic is what is an infinite bus? The estimated duration of this presentation is four minutes. The infinite bus calculation yields us the largest amount of short circuit current that can be seen on the secondary of a transformer. Knowledge of these three topics can help you digest what we're talking about when we speak to infinite bus. Ohm's law and Thevenin equivalent circuits are a part of most basic engineering courses. Per unit and percent impedance probably is something that you would see in power engineering classes. The transformer full load amp calculation is a fundamental calculation that we all need to know how to do. I have a separate video on that one. So here's your basic service entrance single line diagram. We have the utility available fault current, which here in this case is 20,000 amps. We have a transformer, 1500 kVA, 4160 to 480 three phase transformer with a impedance of 5.75%. All of that information will be printed on the nameplate and part of published documents for transformers so that engineers can plan appropriately early in their design phase. And finally, we have the short circuit event. We're going to assume a three phase bolted fault. That means zero impedance for this fault. This one line diagram can be converted into a Thevenin equivalent. And that would be looking back from that short circuit to the utility. The two impedance values that we have there is the source equivalent impedance from the utility and the transformer percent impedance. Both of those are going to be placed in a per unit format. The short across the Thevenin equivalent circuit is our short circuit on the bus in the one line diagram, and that has zero impedance. Remember, we just said it's going to be a bolted fault. Now we have to put in the impedances. The first impedance that we'll deal with is the transformer per unit impedance. All we need to do is take the percent impedance that's published and divide it by 100 to get to a per unit impedance. For this transformer, the percent impedance is 5.75. The per unit impedance is 0.0575. The utility impedance in per unit can be calculated by the basic equation shown here. So based on this equation, the impedance for the utility in per unit is 0 0.0104. The short circuit current from the utility is in the denominator of this equation. This is significant because it tells us that as the utility available short circuit current gets larger, approaching infinity, the equivalent utility impedance gets smaller and approaches zero. Infinite amount of current from the utility results in zero impedance of the utility. Look at this circuit again. As the utility fault current gets larger and the impedance approaches zero, I'm removing it from my, sh my circuit. This is why they call it an infinite bus. It's an infinite amount of current available from the utility, but from a mathematical and an engineering perspective, the impedance of the utility is going away and it becomes a short circuit. Now let's do the calculation of fault current based upon the 20,000 amp available from the utility. The short circuit current is calculated to be 27,420 amps. Now we're going to consider an infinite bus. So I'm going to replace the utility 20,000 amps with an infinite bus because the fault current is infinite, but the impedance disappears from this circuit because it went to zero, just like our bolted three-phase fault. The infinite bus short circuit current is calculated to be 31,370 amps. So this is a nice table as it gives us some more insight to short circuit current at the secondary of the transformer. Recognize that as the utility short circuit current approaches infinity, the utility percent impedance is approaching zero and the short circuit current calculated on the secondary of the transformer is getting larger because we're removing the utility impedance from the circuit and from our equations. As I approach infinity from the available fault current from the utility, I am getting to the most fault current I could possibly get on the secondary of the transformer, hence the infinite bus. Thanks for sharing your time to talk about this technical topic.